how do I even start the job search? If you think about all that you need that goes into the job search, resume, cover letter, companies, research and details on those companies, how do you reach out to these people? How do you keep it all organized? When do you follow up? I think one of the hardest things about starting your job search is actually just getting started. Welcome back to the fourth channel. We're so glad to have you here. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. So if you think about what all you need for a job search, resume, cover letter, a list of companies, who do you need to reach out to? Do you have their email addresses, their phone numbers? All of these things that come together to allow you to start actually searching for the job, it can get overwhelming really quickly and it takes a lot of time. So how to go about setting up your Notion template is upload all the information that you need. Green recording on. Current resume, current cover letter, your portfolio link, all your information that you need when you start reaching out to people and applying for jobs. It's all in one place and you can keep track of everything that you have and what versions you're sending to people. So using Ellie as an example, we're just gonna put in the basic information. When you start researching people, you're probably gonna go to LinkedIn to get some information. So I'll kind of walk you through the process. If we're using Ellie, here's her LinkedIn. If you're on a certain level, people can see when you look at them. And if you are getting to know someone new or interviewing places, you don't want them to see that you continuously are looking at their profile. And one of the ways to avoid that is to take a screenshot of it. I'm using Cloud App, it's free, go download it. I love it because when you take a screenshot, wait for it, did you hear that ding? it automatically gives you a link for the screenshot. So then you can just copy paste right there. And you know, let's say in a few weeks, you have a phone call with Ellie. You can just click this link and it opens and you can see the information, you know, her about and her position, all that good stuff without having to actually go back into LinkedIn. So that is one of the reasons I highly suggest Cloud App and why we have this LinkedIn profile link, which obviously you could put their LinkedIn profile link there too, but just to avoid that constant checking in so they don't see, that's one solution. So here's a quick note you wanna make, maybe you had a phone call with someone and they mentioned something or you need to reach out to them on a certain day, so you can make that quick note visible in this view. So let's say, reach out next Wednesday. Then I would upload your most current resume and cover letter, or if you sent them a resume and cover letter, which version that was, and then when you contacted them. And basically what this status means is if it's past seven days, then the status will change to it's time to reach out. So you always know when to follow up with that person based on the last time you contacted them. If you open up this individual person, then you can make notes from your conversations and all the information you need for them. Their contact information, how you got connected to them or who connected you with them, any background information, any questions you wanna ask during your phone call or interview, and then make notes from that phone call. What was your biggest takeaway? What stood out to you? What's something they mentioned that you should say in the thank you or follow-up note for next time? Just keep it all in one place and all up to date. So that is Notion and how you can go about using it. And as always, if this simply was not enough, we are constantly filling spots for our Get Hired course. The link to that is below, including a secret discount code only for our YouTube subscribers. And we would love to have you a part of the fourth family officially.